Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Clear Hue. If you are new here, Namaste. My name is Rakshita and this channel is all about skincare, wellness and makeup. So if any of these interest you, don't forget to subscribe. Alright guys, I know I have been MIA for a while and I have a perfect explanation to that. Uh, for those of you who are new and don't know, I am an MBBS student and I had my exams and um, MBBS guys is not an easy course, it's extremely difficult, nothing about it is easy and hence when my exams came around I just did not get the time to shoot anything and that is why I couldn't upload anything in a while but now I am back and I can finally get back to uploading things more regularly you know one thing i need to talk about it's so sweet that some of you guys really um, you were worried uh, that i'm not uploading uh, regularly and you guys were you know texting me on instagram if i'm okay asking me how i'm doing and that was literally the sweetest thing ever it warms my heart so much to know that you guys just care so much and just sending you so much love and thank you so much for caring and i just i'm falling short of words it's such a heart warming feeling all right guys so i just switched my air conditioning off because i thought it must be making too much noise and i thought you guys you know would be disturbed by the sound of the air conditioner so i just switched it off and now i'm gonna fill uh, film in absolute silence all right so guys today's video is about sunscreens so i have six sunscreens that are my personal favorites now i have four physical or mineral and two chemical slash organic sunscreens as recommendations for you guys now the reason i have more mineral is because i am personally allergic to chemical sunscreens when i say allergic i mean every time i put a chemical slash organic sunscreen on my face i break out or i develop rashes which is like kind of unlucky because chemical sunscreens are actually pretty amazing and most of them don't have a white cast which is something like it's it's a drawback of using a mineral sunscreen but then uh, and i only have this allergic reaction on my face never on my neck or on my body so these are the sunscreens that i use on my body as well as on my neck the chemical ones that i'm going to suggest and the other four physical ones i use for my face and these six are my personal favorites Alright guys, so I'm starting off with the mineral sunscreens. Now I have four mineral sunscreens like I said. Two of them I have with me right now on hand and the other two I've used up and I threw the packaging long ago. So honestly I don't have them on hand. But I'm gonna insert pictures to let you know which ones I'm talking about. So the first one that I want to talk about is this one by Z Block. I'm gonna show you what the sunscreen looks like. Now this is the Z Block sunscreen. This is a much recent finding for me. I've started using it somewhere around two to three months ago. This one sadly is not fragrance free. So this is not for everyone. If you have a fragrance allergy, then don't use it. Though honestly, the fragrance in this one is so mild and almost like you just can't notice it. There's it's it's so so mild and it honestly smells like the La Shield one and even though that one is fragrance free, which is what makes me think the fragrance in this one is very very low. Now this is a 25% zinc oxide based sunscreen. Zinc oxide in your sunscreen should be between 20 to 25% for it to be effective. Provided zinc is the only sun filter in the sunscreen. Now the critical wavelength of this sunscreen is 370 uh, nanometers. Now what is a critical wavelength? Critical wavelength of your sunscreen means the wavelength at which it absorbs or deflects 90% of the UV rays from the sun. This is what the critical wavelength means. And for uh, sunscreen to be broad spectrum, its critical wavelength should be 370 or above. Now guys, coming down to the white cast of this sunscreen, it does have a mild white cast. On my skin tone personally, it settles within 10 to 15 minutes completely and then it's like completely not noticeable. But on people who are a little darker in skin tone, this could be a little visible, the white cast. Uh, but And that's literally like the only drawback. And this sunscreen does not really feel heavy on your skin. It's not exactly a gel texture, but it's that silicone texture. It doesn't really feel heavy on your skin and sits pretty well. Overall, this is a pretty good sunscreen and it's one of my favorites. 
All right, guys. So the next sunscreen that I have is by Sun Cage. It is the Sun Cage 100% physical sunscreen. Now this one was given to me by my dermat, and uh, like years ago, and since then it has been one of my favorite sunscreens. Now again, one drawback of the sunscreen is that uh, the company doesn't mention the PA rating on the packaging of the sunscreen. But again, this is a 25% zinc oxide based sunscreen. And the critical wavelength of this one is 380 nanometers and that makes it a broad spectrum sunscreen and hence I'm pretty sure it has a high uh, PA factor that is a high UVA protection as well. And this one uh, is much more lighter in texture compared to, uh, to the Z block one. This also feels like that silicone uh, texture but again it is much uh, you know lighter more fluffy in texture if I may say. Talking about the white cast, the white cast situation is similar to the Z block one. On me, there's almost no white cast or very, very minimal. Even on darker skin types, I think it's going to settle uh, within 10 to 15 minutes. But you might face a little bit of a white cast problem. For people who are lighter than me, you, ha you will have no white cast problems with this one. Now this one is a fragrance free option and it's suitable for everyone and hence it is one of my favorites and I recommend it. Okay guys, so the next two sunscreens that I'm going to talk about, I don't have both of those on hand with me. I'm going to insert the pictures of both of them and I'm going to talk about both of them together because they have similar texture, literally similar texture, similar white cast, um, almost none. <laughs> both of those uh, have same percentage of zinc oxide and almost feel similar to me at least. So the next two that I'm going to talk about, one is the La Shield Physico Matte and the other is Sun Cross Sunscreen Gel SPF 50. Now both of these are 25% zinc oxide based sunscreens much like the other two I've just shown uh, and both of these have very very minimal white cast. I think even on darker skin types the white cast is going to be none to very minimal and hence making both of them uh, you know ideal both these sunscreens are fragrance free hence making both of them a very very ideal option to choose from out of the four physical sunscreens that i spoke about three of them have been fragrance free only the z block one has fragrance in it so these two are the sunscreens that i absolutely love and i would 10 on 10 recommend so guys these were my top four uh, mineral sunscreens and now we are going to talk about my two favorite chemical sunscreens. Alright guys, so let's talk about my two favorite chemical slash organic sunscreens. Uh, so like I just said, I have a organic sunscreen allergy on my face. So these are the ones that I use on my neck and my body. But honestly, you can use them on your face as well. These are extremely effective and great. And I'm going to show you which are my two favorite. Guys, so the first one is the Bello Photo Stable Sunscreen. It is all the rage these days and uh, rightfully so. This is actually an amazing sunscreen and I'm going to tell you all the sun filters that are in here. So guys, the first sun filter it has is Uvinyl MC80. Uvinyl MC80 is effective against UVB rays and it is an amazing stable sun filter. Guys, the next sun filter in here is Tinozorb M. Now Tinozorb M is a broad spectrum filter which means it is going to be effective against UVB as well as UVA rays. Guys, the next filter is Uvinyl T150. This filter is effective against UVB rays. Up next is Tinozorb S. Now Tinozorb S is a broad spectrum filter again that it is effective against both UVA and UVB rays. And the last sun filter in here is Uvinyl A plus granular. Now this sun filter is effective against long wavelength UVA rays. Now guys this formula is completely fragrance free and it has some great and genuinely amazing stable sun filters that are effective against UVA as well as UVB rays making this an all round amazing sunscreen. Now guys the critical wavelength of this sunscreen is 377 nanometers which is again enough for this one to classify as a broad spectrum sunscreen so i definitely recommend this you guys are lucky if you don't have an allergy like me you can use this all over your face and it's just a amazing sunscreen like chef's kiss amazing all right guys so the last sunscreen on my list today is this one by l'oreal 
it is the l'oreal uv perfect super aqua essence this again is an amazing sunscreen the only drawback is how small it is for the price apart from that this one is actually an amazing sunscreen and i'm gonna tell you what all filters are in here all right guys so i actually threw the outer packaging and that's where the ingredients were written so i have the list right down here so i'm gonna be reading so don't mind that so guys the first filter is uvinyl uh, t150 that i mentioned is a uh, uh, very effective against uvb rays the next one is tinozorb s which is a broad spectrum filter act, um, effective against uva as well as uvb rays the next one is uvinyl a plus which is effective against uva rays the next is titanium dioxide now titanium dioxide is a mineral filter making this sunscreen a hybrid and not a complete chemical so titanium dioxide is a broad spectrum filter effective against both uva and uvb rays now the next filter that this sunscreen has is a mexoryl filter which is written right here on the packaging as you can see now the mexoryl filter that you can see here is effective against uva rays now this filter is actually a patent of the l'oreal group you won't find it in any other sunscreen that's not owned by the l'oreal group now l'oreal is like a mother company that owns a lot of other companies under its umbrella and uh, all these companies only these companies that are owned by l'oreal have the right to use this filter which is the mexoryl filter but this is actually a pretty amazing a very stable uh, sun filter which just makes it perfect now guys this sunscreen is an spf 50 sunscreen with pa of 4 pluses honestly guys this sunscreen has the lightest of textures among all the sunscreens that i've shown you this is literally like a very very light lotion no white cast whatsoever um, no white cast whatsoever absorbs right away and is literally just it's a dream sunscreen you know it's beautiful and i am personally so sad i can't use this on my face it's just it makes me sad but you guys are lucky and honestly can use this and so this one is one of my top picks and i recommend it okay guys so these were my six top favorite sunscreens and with this i'm going to end the video here i'm hoping you find a match out of these six sunscreens and i'm hoping you like this video now guys it would mean the world to me if you could just press that like button and comment down below what you think about these sunscreens if there are more you want me to try i would love to know your opinions and guys if any friend of yours is in need of sunscreen recommendations why don't you share this video with them it would again mean the world to me that is all for today's video guys Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.